Well, they really hit pan in the realm of PR disasters. After six weeks of full silence, this is the response that we got from Euphoria for their lack of forethought when they came out with the darkest shade on market that is pure black pigment. Again, no human skin is pure black. Now, obviously the common threads have already done a lot of shredding, but we are going to break this down as why this is one of the worst responses that I've ever seen a brand do in recent history and how this is not an apology and could actually be a ploy to make us forget and there be no actual follow through. This one single image is nothing to when you go on their website that they ask you to go on there are two paragraphs that explain their values for it which is a lot of corporate fluff in that language that is very insincere but honestly that amount of content on your website that is so little could have been a second graphic because we all know instagram and tiktok does multiple graphic posts and then we look at their job posting their action for solving the problem. And apart from the blatant high order of putting three jobs into one and having no pay transparency of how much a person can actually earn, let's actually talk timeline. If they manage to even hire a human, that human would actually take about six weeks to three months to onboard and then could take up to a year or two for production to fix any issues. Granted, if this wasn't just for show and you actually do hire a person, this in total can take up to a year to be resolved. And meanwhile, are we just gonna keep posting as per usual? Because that shade is still on this website for sale. Really makes us all question, is this a ploy to just get people to forget a year later? Is there any gonna be any transparency showing the way of this? For, it just sounds like they're hiring for a scapegoat and then going to blame the scapegoat for, for not enough change and too little too late for the death of their business. All boils back into, is this person even gonna be able to create the impact that you're promising when clearly there is one player in this room that is deciding things? Because a lot of the comments are saying, fire your PR person that allowed you to write this response. But I'm gonna be honest, they don't have a PR person. They have a single VP of marketing and a social media coordinator who in their role should have audacity to cause pause and say, this is a post that we should not be posting. No, this doesn't even fall into what a typical apology or acknowledgement PR response for any brand in history, not to mention the board and the investors who's supposed to be advising this company on how to actually navigate this. Clearly, none of them have enough say behind the CEO who has up until this point been the actual main lead and has probably been one of the main people overriding a lot of the decisions. So we must ask, is the person that would be hired in this new role even going to make an impact? Hence, is this just a ploy for more time? Now, as always, we ask, this is the worst case scenario. This is why it went bad. But how could you fix it if you first off, if you're an investor of this company, please call Fiona and tell her to take down that post because that is crazy. And then second, tell her to hire a PR to write a proper apology for this or acknowledgement response that can be sent out to media. Extra props if you can actually get her to film something in a sincere way. And if it's not sincere, don't post it. And this action of like wanting to hire on a correct expertise knowledge gap is good. It, yes, and it is very normal for it to take up to a year, but it takes a level of content transparency that they previously had with their audience to show people along the one year route that they're actually making progress for it to get buy-in. However, doing diversity and inclusion in businesses by default is very hard because it is about testing one's own narrative and privilege that you may have and view the world that you never knew that was a world that you viewed from. And that's a lot of personal development coming in. It should never fall on a single human to basically drag everyone through that process. You guys think that this was a ploy for time or and the nail in the coffin is done? Or do you think this ploy could work and people forget a year later on? Comment down below.